In today's pattern, we're going to work on the puffy stitch blanket. You better buckle in. This is an intermediate. This is a really cool thing and I'm going to show you how to do this pattern next. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to work on the puffy stitch blanket just like you see here. This is one of those examples I literally had to do it because I don't understand the photo. Because of the way that it's folded, I wasn't sure that I was actually looking through the afghan and seeing other stuff because I was looking like there's holes and there's no puff stitch in this thing. So then puffy stitch blanket isn't really a puff stitch and I know not all crocheters like doing the puff stitch. So I was thinking okay, let me do an example before I judge and whatever. So let me show you how to do this. So this is what I came up with and I was really quite surprised. See how chunky it is? Uh, do you see how puffy it is? Do you see like the depth layers in this thing? It's actually a really interesting blanket and it doesn't really kill my brain cells in order to do it. So you can see this is what we're working with. So we're working with shell work of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets and then the next one is like single crochets and extended single crochets in order to come down. So when we're doing that it's just kind of neat. So in one side part of it is that the shell work is here and then it shifts over diagonally to make room for this and then it shifts back. So it's one of those ideas where I really didn't think it was a big deal but it did take me a little bit to wrap my brain around it. I think for this particular pattern you're gonna need to keep that crochet diagram that they provided close handy just to keep uh, you on the rails from going off. In today's pattern we're going to be working with Bernat blanket and a size 9 millimeter crochet hook. I have a 10 here. I'm gonna up it a little bit because I don't have a 9 uh, but what we're gonna be needing for this particular brand is that you need 5 balls. This is a really kind of in depth a large afghan of 56 inches by 60 inches. So you need 5 balls of the vintage white color if you were gonna do it. Let me just show you that. So the white was 5 balls of the 300 grams just like you see here and then the other colors it was raspberry trifle and that was 3 balls. So you can substitute the different yarns. This kind of reminds me of a cookie and it's kind of why I did that. So um, let's get started and let's go over the crochet diagram first and then let's dive head first and let's see if you can master this one. So first of all we have our crochet instructions. There's a lot of words here. Blah 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 blah. And that's because it's it takes a little bit longer to explain where to stick your stitch. So in this particular case is that we can read all of that and go step by step or you can just look at the crochet diagram and look at this and see where the stitches are going. So this is kind of a neat idea. You can see that these um, shells kind of go kind of opposite. So in the first row we have a half a shell and then the next one here it's moved over and then it, it comes back. So then you can see that they kind of work diagonally to each other. In the next row we have the number two and we have chain work. So we have a single crochet, chain two. This is an extended um, single crochet all the way down and you have to pull up a large loop in order to do that and then chain two and then come into the middle of these. So it doesn't, it's not a hard thing to do. The thing about this particular pattern is that you have to drag with you the different colors. So for example you notice that all the shells were, were the, the cookie color. Okay? And then you'll notice that all the other rows were a different color. So what's gonna happen is that we're gonna come across and then we're gonna join the next color which will be like the, the other color that you see here and we're gonna go across. And then once we've done that we turn it around and then we do the shell work again and then we come back and grab the other color and go back across. So we're kind of like going across and then back up and then pick up the next one and go across and then turn. So if you can understand that it's actually pretty easy and because of the this being an afghan I think you can master it as well. So let's uh, re review this pattern. So if you would like to make this pattern in any size it's multiples of 4 plus 4 so it's actually just multiples of 4. So as long as you keep it in groups of 4 this pattern is doable in any size if you want to make it smaller or larger. So without further ado let's grab our, our crochet hook and our Bernat blanket yarn and let's see if you can do this one. So let's grab our Bernat blanket yarn. For tutorial purposes I'm gonna keep my color solid so that you can see all the stitches. Let's insert our hook in. So you can either chain 92 as per the instructions or you can chain in sets of 4 and make it a different size. Remember if you change the size of your chain you're gonna change the yarn quantities and what those yarn quantities will be once you change the size is completely on you to figure out. So I just grab enough yarn to make sure I have enough. You know it doesn't hurt to buy extra yarn because we're addicted to yarn anyway. So let's uh, begin and we're gonna chain four. So one, two, three and four. Okay so you can either chain 92 or just doing sets of four. So one, two, three 
and four and then I'm gonna do one more set. So one, two, three, four. I'm gonna just do one more just to make sure I'm good and one, two, three and four. So I've got them in sets of four. That's all I need to do in order to keep the pattern consistent. So let's review row number one. In row number one we need to go fourth chain from the hook. So just come back from the hook and count back. So one, two, three and four and get the back loop only. So just turn that chain around and get the back loop and I need you to double crochet twice into that same stitch. So the back loop only. Once you turn over that chain by getting the back loop the chain st stays turned over. So we're gonna double crochet twice into that fourth one over. So this one here that all the chains that we skipped counts as a double crochet and so do these two which gives you a set of three. So now what we have to do is that we have to immediately just jump over to the uh, to the fourth one. So we're gonna skip three stitches. So we're gonna go one, two, three and go to the fourth and now we're gonna put in that shell work. So it's gonna consist of two double crochets first. Okay and then we're gonna chain one Okay, this creates a gapping space that you'll work in it with the next color. So chain one and then in the same space again down in the chain you're gonna put two double crochets. So that is your shell work that is consistent throughout your entire project. So once you get that one done back down on the chain one, two, three, go to the fourth and you're going to double crochet uh, two times. Okay, so that's the first half of the shell work and then chain one and then back in to the same stitch for another two chains or another two double crochets sorry. Okay, so there's that. So you're gonna come to eventually just do that all the way across but eventually you're gonna come to the very end. So one, two, three. The fourth one which is the very last one anyway is going to be three double crochets. So here's where it gets a little complicated. Here's where it goes from easy to uh, intermediate at this point. If you can stick with this, this is a really amazing pattern. So you should have rows right now of just these shells. So what I want you to do is pull up a loop and I want you to grab another color of yarn and let's begin to do this, the second row. Okay, so I'm gonna grab another color of Bernat blanket yarn and I'm gonna create a slip knot to start. So what we have to do, this is where I finished and I pulled up a loop and I took out my hook. So now I wanna come back to the top of the first chain that I started with and I wanna insert my hook and join my yarn. So this is the only time that you're going to join yarn because you're gonna carry the yarns going back and forth throughout the remainder. So you don't have to join this every time you start it. Okay, so you're just gonna join it, chain one and just single crochet into that same stitch. So here's what you're going to do. So this is considered like in the middle of a shell. So whenever we do a middle of the shells we are going to just put single crochets but it's down here that we have to do extended single crochets. I'm trying to re remember the name of that. Um, just give me a second I'll be right back. So I quickly looked at the pattern. It's called long single crochets. So let me show you what to do. So you're gonna start off by chaining two. So one and two. Okay and now we're going to do a long single crochet. So right in the bottom here we skipped three chains. It's gonna be the middle one of the three. We just simply come in front. Okay, we don't go over this or behind it. We come right in front. So we're just gonna stick our hook into the th middle one of the three right down on the chain and pull and we're gonna pull a, a loop, a long loop like this and then just close it off like a single crochet. That's it. So then you chain two. And we'll show that again. So in the next shell work, the middle one, the chain one space is gonna be a single crochet and then chain two. And now the next one is a long single crochet. So again in, you can see it's in between the shells where we do that. So it's the middle one of the three. So insert, pull through, pull up a loop just a little bit longer and then pull through, chain two and then you're in the middle of a shell again so just single crochet. And you're gonna do that all the way across. So this is what's creating that depth and we'll get more into that as we continue this pattern. So we're gonna chain two and we're gonna do a long single crochet down into the middle one. Pull up a loop. You will get used to pulling up that loop and then chain two 
and now you're gonna do that all the way across and then on the final one here where the other loop is coming out of you just wanna put it into this last stitch. Okay, just be gentle about it because you got the other yarn that's not on a loop and just single crochet and pull this into a large loop. So this is what it looks like at this point. So let's move along to row number three. So in row number three we're gonna turn our work. So the repeat pattern on this uh, bad boy is rows number three, four, five, and six before the pattern repeats itself. And the reason for that is that these shift the, the shells. So let's begin. We're gonna put the blue back on the hook so pull it tight. Let the yellow fall all out of the way and toward the behind the project so it's out of your face. And now let's begin. So we're going to chain up three. One, two, three and that counts as a double crochet. So what we have to do is that we have to pull up the space here. This is a single crochet right in the middle that is the long one. Okay, do you see it here? But we have to look at it from the behind and so you just gotta use your fingers and just find the stitch. And what you're going to do here is that is going to be where your next shell is. Okay, and the shell is two double crochets to start with. So one and two followed by chain one and then into the same single crochet for another two. So this is what's giving that depth is that you're bouncing between two different kind of lines. Once you've done that you are just simply just gonna skip over and look for the next long single crochet. Do you see it? It's down, it's right here. And you wanna put in another shell there. So two single crochet or two double crochets first followed by chain one and two single crochets. And you keep doing that all the way across. So just look for the long ones here. It's, see this is the shell and right in the middle so it's gotta be this one that's kind of in behind. And you're gonna do that right to the very end. So this is the last one before the end. Chain one and two double crochets. And don't forget you still have to add in a double crochet right at the end right where it's in the single crochet right here. This strand is because it's that's where we started and we have to weave that out of the way after we're done. So we just come to the final stitch like this and that is your double crochet. So what we had here this was our double crochet that we started with. Everything else in the middle was this shell work and now we're gonna pull up a loop, drop this and now we're gonna put that out of the way and bring back our yellow as our next, as our next one. So let's put the yellow back on the hook and let's talk about doing the yellow next. Okay, so the yellow is down now and we're ready for round number four. So we have to get up here right where I'm pinching. So we're, we're, at, we're we have to earn our way up there and the only way to do that is to chain three. So one, two, three. So every time you're on row four you have to do that. So we have to slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet. So it's a chaining of three. So slip stitch, chain one and then double crochet into that same stitch. So we've now successfully uh, carried that yarn up. So now what we're going to do is that we are going to change the storyline a little bit and now we're going to be able to, um, to do a great job here. So what we have to do at this point is that we have to chain two, one and two and we have to go into the middle one of the three. So it's a chain one space. So a single crochet, chain two. So what we're doing here is that we're changing the location of the long single crochets. So the next one, the long one is actually right in this yellow one here. So just um, going right in, pulling it and pull up a loop and lock it in with the single crochet, chain two. Okay, and now the next one is right in the middle of the shell for a single crochet and then chain two. Okay, the next one is right in the yellow here. This is a long one, long single crochet and lock it and then chain two. Okay, and then you're in there. So you're just gonna go all the way across just looking for the telltale signs that you need in order to create it. So you can see that the depth is being now created on this side. So the very final once you get to the end is gonna be chain two and then you're going to single crochet into the final double crochet that's there. And once you get there you can just pull up a large loop and let it fall 
and let's move up to row number five. So this is what it looks like at this moment. So on this side you really see the it popping back out this side but the other side you can see that it's sunk in and that's kind of the cool thing. So let's move along to row number five. So now that I pulled up a large loop of yellow I wanna bring back my blue and put it back on the hook and turn my work. Get that yellow out of the way so it's not bothering you and then let's do the blue. So now what's gonna happen is that remember how we started over here and that we had a partial of, an, of a side and then we had, so there's a partial and then the shell started over. Let me turn it around and show you. So we had an edge and then the shell started the next one in. So on this particular one is that it's here but in the next one we, time we saw it we saw that it was shifted over on an angle and now it's gonna shift back to look like this first one. So let's turn it back around. So we're gonna start off by uh, chaining of three. So one, two, and three. But here's what I wanna show you. The next two double crochets that make up that, that shell, the half shell, is going to be in the first single crochet here of the yellow. Okay? So you have to chain up three first to earn your way up there and then the other two are actually in the yellow single crochet. So in this row here what we're looking for is that the shells are going to be in the long single crochets here. Okay, so they'll never appear right above where another shell is. So we just reach over and we double crochet two times. So one and two followed by chain, followed by a chain one to do the other side of the shell. And we just do that all the way across. So it's just a matter of knowing how to start each row in order to make this work. So now that that one's done you can see you have to skip this one here because the next one is right in this yellow one over here. Okay, so you're gonna do, do your shell work there. So I've never seen an afghan do this before. But now that this is my second time through it actually makes a lot of sense to me. I think that you'll have to take some patience. I can see a lot of people making comments that this is too hard. Um, but once you can wrap your brain around this it's not a hard thing at all. So now you're coming to the edge. Okay, so you have no more, you have a shell here and you have your edge. So on the edge you're just gonna put in three double crochets in a row. So one, it's, a, it's into the same stitch and that's your partial on the edge. Just like this and pull up a loop. Okay, so you kind of see what's going on with this. Let's turn it around. So on this side here you have a partial down here and here's your partial up here and the one in between that's sunk is actually just shifted in over. Let's uh, bring back our yellow and let's do the final repeat round. This is round number six and let's pull the yellow back on to the hook and let's begin to review what we need to do for the yellow. So the yellow line that we're about to do is exactly what you did down here. Okay, right where I'm pushing. Okay, so every other yellows will be the exact same. So next time you do the yellow after what I'm about to do will be this. So you're gonna chain up three first. One, two, three and just extend this first double crochet up and get into the top one, slip stitch it, chain one and then single crochet into that same stitch. So now it's gonna work away across. So the long single crochets are gonna be in between the shell work. Okay, just like you did before. So we're gonna chain two first and then a long single crochet into this one here. Okay, so just look where those blue shells are in order to determine where these go. Then chain two and here's your shell. So there is your single crochet right in the middle of it. Chain two and the next one is the long one. So just pull down. Okay, chain two and then single crochet in the next one. Chain two, the next one is along. So just coming down and pull through and then chain two and you're done. So just come into the top of the, the blue for the final and pull up a loop. So now you can really see, see it like this and here's what the other side looks like. So you're just gonna continue to go. So now you just gotta go back to row number three and begin again. So row number three let's quickly review and then you can just reverse this video for all the rest of the rows. So row number three if you remember we have to start up and row number three this time is that we're gonna chain three. So one, two, three. 
This time the last one was a partial but this time we're gonna be right in the middle. So what we have to do is just pull up and get that long single crochet of the yellow and put a full shell in there. So it's gonna be two double crochets. One and two followed by a chain one and then one and two. Okay, so then we're gonna co come over and you can see that this is a shell here so we don't wanna touch that. We wanna go for the next long one over here. So there's gonna be a full shell in there. So this is row number three. We've already done this before. So once you get beyond um, just doing it for the first time, it gets easier to visualize, easier to follow along once you start repeating the ideas. And then next shell is over here. It's in the yellow. So because you're kind of working with two different rows like this, it makes it the in-depth really neat. So this is a full shell over here. And if you remember in row number three is that you're just gonna do that all the way across and then in the very final we just have to put in one double crochet into the first um, one right here, the single crochet which is your last stitch. Pull up a loop and then move up to row number four and then just keep going back and forth. So you're looking at it now and it's looking really compact but if you stretch it out it actually looks really neat. So once you're starting to use this you'll see that it will relax on you and you'll have the looks that you see on the chair that's in the particular model photo. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd. This is the Puffy Stitch Afghan. This is an intermediate level. Hopefully that you've had some luck with it and until next time have a great day and we'll see you again real soon. Bye bye. <music>